Welcome to another exciting episode of Horizon Next. I'm your host Akshay Adesh, Inside Sales at Nivea Solutions. Today we have a topic that's the heart of modern software development, mastering CI/CD pipelines. And for that I have not one but two special guests who are not only dear friends of mine but also cloud enthusiasts. Please join me in giving a warm welcome to Pratiksha Kamath, a seasoned uh, cloud infrastructure engineer and also she comes with a wealth of knowledge when it comes to implementing seamless CI/CD pipelines. So welcome to the show Pratiksha. And also I have with me who Meghna, who's a very valued cloud engineer here at Nivea Solutions and who's also spearheaded many implementations when it comes to CI CD pipeline. So welcome to the show, Meghna. Thank you. Okay, so Meghna, my first question to you. Uh, look, I'm from a sales background, right? So when anybody comes up and tells me CI CD pipeline, I won't know. So the same goes with most of our audience. So if I ask you to explain CI CD pipeline in a very layman's term that you know a normal person would understand, so how would you uh, put it in words? So CI/CD is a series of automated steps that helps in integrating the code changes, testing it, and then deploying it to the different environments like uh, production or deploy, uh, development environments. So CI/CD is two parts where you can say continuous integration and then continuous delivery. So continuous integration is where the developers integrate their code together from multiple contributors into a single repository, and then testing is done on that code to check any kind of bugs uh, uh, arising in it. And then the second part is continuous delivery where the deployed the tested code is then deployed into the production environment or into the development environment so we can say that the ci cd is a process which can help to get the products faster in the market so the time to market for any developer or any organization is reduced using ci exactly that is the main purpose of using the ci cd uh, thank you for that uh, explanation uh, megna so uh, pratiksha now that we know what ci cd pipeline is so why do companies emphasize so much on having them implemented in their organization and is it only because of speed and the lesser time to market or is it anything else that uh, you know companies would be looking into yeah i think that's an excellent question now when it comes to application development uh, there are a lot of things that have to be thought through during the development uh, you know activity and ci cd becomes one of the very important things uh, is what uh, a lot of developers would have an opinion about as uh, megana highlighted in her response every development the every team every application is not going to be a one set that is developed you know from scratch to a stage and then de deployed no the application would be segmented into multiple components and there would be multiple developers who would be working uh, you know through each of the components so it's not that a single developer would sit and work and have the application deployed rather there would be multiple uh, the larger team was going to contribute towards an application so like you highlighted faster time to market it would help in accelerating the development activity because uh, that becomes a forum where all the uh, developers would come together have all their code or modules developed being merged committed and it would help in better collaboration so it would one help in collaboration modular development collaboration and it also comes with multiple deployment strategies i think we would be discussing that in uh, going uh, forward as well but it would help in having a very seamless deployment there would be multiple stages where you can move seamlessly from your different phases of an application be it from you might have heard of people move their application from staging to production or development to staging there would be different stages uh, in an application development it would not be the, in the first day the application never goes to production there are going to be multiple phases and that is exactly wherein you know ci cd fits in to ensure that all the changes that have been made by the cross functional teams and be it new changes new feature additions being made to the application everything becomes very seamless when ci cd comes into place because there is something which is centrally available where a lot of people can co collate contribute monitor your deployment so and it's everything more like a community sort of thing it's not community per se but i would rather tell that it would uh, you know help in having better collaboration across the team so you can have a better deployment uh, seamless deployment and um, you know seamless deployment monitor your deployment because it's going to tell 
which phase you are in current, uh, which uh, module is getting deployed or what is the build process. There are a lot of components and it helps in application, uh, uh, you know, deployment monitoring so that it's successful. Your application, the de deployed application is successful and is scalable. So, um, I know that at Navy Solutions, we know that you've been, work, you've, you have already worked on certain uh, projects, right? So, when it comes to CI/CD. So, what was very challenging or what were, uh, you know, the pros and cons that I, if I may ask on CI/CD, like how, how, was, how was your experience personally? So, uh, CI/CD is something that a lot of people have different uh, uh, utilities that can be leveraged. The CI/CD can be as open source as possible and it can be as cloud native as possible as well. So, it completely de depends on the, uh, the mindset that people are looking at for an application. And uh, every pipeline can be deployed, you know, very specifically can be built in a uh, specific way be it utilities that can be integrated. So, uh, there would be a standard, uh, there can be a CI CD standard pipelines, but on top of it, there are multiple customizations that can be done, be it in terms of testing, be it in terms of deployment model. Uh, there are some, uh, there are blue green deployments that can be done. There can be canary deployments that can be done. So, it becomes very contextual and, uh, you know, multiple designs can be considered even in CI CD. So, Okay, so Meghna, uh, you know, that was a, a, a lot of information that we got from Pratiksha, right? So, um, when CICD is solving so many uh, problems for an organization, uh, when it comes to speed and uh, recovery and the time to market, uh, agreed. But, uh, you know, uh, there's a saying back in uh, Marvels, with great power comes great responsibilities, right? So, with great uh, privileges come some shortcomings. So, with CICD pipeline, is that so? So, do you have certain shortcomings or with the pros, are there a couple of cons that you may recall? Yeah, uh, I agree with you. So, even with CICD, right, we can face some of the challenges. So, one of the challenges I can say is that when we are having a legacy applications, uh, when it's built in the core, uh, legacy systems, right, it will be very tightly coupled. And CICD is a very frequent agile process. So, if an application is very tightly coupled, right, CICD cannot adhere to that. So, what we can do is we'll have to modernize the applications, break down the applications into microservices, make it loosely coupled so that incrementally that application can be updated using CI CD. So, that is one of the challenge. I think we'll have to modernize the application so that is a lot of process to adhere to CI CD. And one more challenge we can see is since CI CD is a rapid code integration and changes, so there are a lot of changes happening frequently. And this so can, lead, uh, can lead to security vulnerabilities happening in the applications. Mm -hmm. So, we will have to track that, uh, we have to track it carefully and we'll have to see that all the compliances are being followed. There, are, there should not be any kind of security vulnerabilities, there should not be any kind of loopholes when we are doing this continuous integration of the codes, code changes. So, uh, is it only uh, related to security uh, vulnerabilities or uh, do you recall any more that you could share with us? Uh, so, uh, there into challenges in CI/CD cannot be only the process, it can also be the people. People have to adhere to the CI/CD principle, they have to adapt to it. So, I think uh, training people to move from a waterfall model to an agile model will also be a bit of challenging because they will have to learn new processes every day, new uh, principles every day. So, they'll have to learn about new technologies. So that is one of the challenge we can see in CI/CD because uh, CI/CD, as we can see, continuous integration, continuous delivery, it's an agile model. And it keeps updating. There are new technologies keep coming out for CI/CD as well. So people will have to be updated on that. And uh, so a lot yeah. of time would go into training and also you know, getting uh, them updated. Maybe in the initial part, the training has to be mo moving from one uh, workflow to another workflow might be a bit challenging in the be beginning. But I think once they get adjusted to that, adapt to it, right? I think then it will be a seamless flow. Uh, so, uh, Pratiksha, uh, Meghna was telling about uh, security vulnerabilities, right? So, is it from an external point where, uh, you know, there will be certain vulner uh, vulnerabilities detected and someone's trying to like, you know, hack into it like a brute force or something? Is it that sort of uh, security issues or is it more like, you know, since so many people are communicating with so many applications and uh, databases at the same time, so probably the credentials would get exposed somewhere or it could fall into the wrong hands, right? So. Uh, what sort of security issues could come up? Yeah, so uh, I think that's an excellent question because uh, though we are trying to accelerate the deployment process, we should always also keep in mind that 
uh, what are the aspects where we have to consider security, right? Which are the places where vulnerabilities can come in. Uh, so it can be in various uh, aspects. So coming from the code level, uh, right? When a developer is writing any specific application, they might leverage some libraries and uh, you might be familiar that some of them at the very base level, the binaries or libraries that are used themselves are not secure and have certain vulnerabilities that can penetrate, penetrate through the application, right? So those are certain set of vulnerabilities that have to be uh, validated and reviewed even before the application at times is uh, you know, propagated through the CI CD pipeline. And during the pipeline process, there is also certain security scanning uh, integration tools that are being integrated specifically to ensure that uh, in case of the containerized images, then the containers are, uh, uh, are non vulnerable, the, uh, the build images are safe and secure for deployment. Because every organization, when they are looking at CI CD, would have their own. Uh, security checks that are defined. So there are multiple utilities that can be integrated with CI CD. So one on the security and vulnerability, yes, during the build process, definitely there will be certain vulnerability checks and scannings that uh, can be integrated with the pipeline. And as you highlighted from a security and uh, access perspective, there would be a lot of secret management happening, API keys being present in the application. And also when the pipeline is running, it would definitely go and access some kind of repositories where the all the application code is being stored, uh, you know, checked in and so on and so forth. So. Uh, there are also use cases where secret managers can be used along with the pipeline so that we have uh, the access or uh, even the credentials being very secure. So the pipeline over, overall uh, would have to be secure and as uh, free from vulnerability as possible. I think uh, secure having secure pipelines that is DevOps is CI CD but DevSecOps is also something that can add a lot of value. and address all the key security challenges. So uh, when we talk about now, see, uh, now I have understood that, you know, this does give a rise to uh, the requirement for a secret manager. So which one do these people go to? Like, would it be a cloud native solution for the secrets management or is it some sort of a third party vendor that they go to? So how, how is that? Yeah. So there are a lot of uh, utilities available from a secret management perspective. Now, cloud native, yes, definitely. Uh, every cloud would have its own native secret management utilities and along with that as you highlighted there are third party utilities and there are also certain open source utilities which also come with the secret management capabilities. Now uh, when it comes to these having a decision factor being done on these utilities there would be key things of one how um, what are the uh, the way it would align is predominantly on how comfortable the developers are in leveraging it. And one is being able to understand the utility better and ensuring that utility being leveraged is addressing the key requirements that they have. So every organization might have its own set of uh, checklist. I, I would rather call it as checklist because there are a lot of key things that uh, when we, since we are specifically talking about secret management and DevSecOps, every uh, deployment team or every organization would also have their CISOs who would approve how the sec security aspects have to be addressed. So, so this could uh, vary this from company. Could vary from organization to organization because uh, selecting any utility would have to go through all the decision making factors for us. So coming back uh, to the CI/CD part, right? So. Uh, there are certain applications that are uh, that have been developed and over the period of time uh, they do uh, undergo certain new deployments or certain upgrades right so how does the end user get affected to it so or how do you see to it that the end user is not affected by the uh, new deployments that you do on that application yeah so that's exactly where the essence of uh, CD in the CI comes into picture. So CI, I think Megana has already highlighted it, continuous integration and continuous delivery. So when we talk about continuous delivery, that's exactly where we look at having minimal uh, downtime 
or most often zero downtime is something we call out where when there is a change happening from application version how do we target or how do we deploy that application so that the users are not affected so that is where the deployment strategies come into picture where there is blue green deployment there is canary deployment which has to be decided on how we look forward to phasing out the changed application uh, right that is where the two cd strategies play a very important role and help in ensuring that the end customers are not affected with the change in the application so either people go with blue green deployment where you would have your application being released in both two set of environments where uh, you would have a blue environment which serves the older application and then you have a green environment which is serving the new version of the application and once you know that the new or the latest version of the deployment that is being done is good to go then you would shift then the existing green would become a blue which means it would cater to the 100% of the traffic so that way you know that your there is a tra there is traffic being dedicated to the new deployment and how it's working is something people would understand as in people as in the developers or the application owners would understand how it's performing is it well received by all the develop uh, you know the end customers and based on that we understand whether it's finally a good to go for a switch to being promoted as a blue similarly there's canary deployment as well where the new version of the application is not released to everybody but there is a smaller uh, uh, you know smaller target customers to whom the application is you know being uh, the latest version is being available and then once it perf starts performing and they are able to cater to the new version upgrades and it's performing perfectly fine it would be they then released to the larger team uh, larger uh, end customers so these are some of the strategies that help people to uh, you know understand and uh, analyze how newer version of applications are performing what is uh, a user experience and so on and so forth so this is the larger intent on why ci cd is required in application development so if i may have to give you a quick gist of why then it helps it's it it helps team collaboration multiple people when they are working on different modules would seamlessly collaborate to ensure the application is you know delivered uh, on time it helps in seamless integrations with multiple security and vulnerability tools so that your application the deployment everything is seamless and secure you would also have this kind of minimal or zero downtime based deployment being done so on the whole this not just helps in uh, accelerating the software development cycle but also enables you to have uh, you know very secure and uh, seamless deployment so that's that's where ci cd plays a main role uh, thank you so much for your response pratiksha that was really informative for all of us and with that we come to a wrap i would like to thank you wonderful ladies for being here on the show today yeah, I had a really nice time and it was, it was really informative having you all and I hope it was as informative as it was for me as to our audience. So until next time, I see you with another engaging topic in the world of tech and innovation. This is your host Akshay signing off. Thank you so much.